All right. So I want to convert this circuit over. Okay. So instead of having the delta connection of, of stuff, all right, I want to convert this over to a Y equivalent. All right. So if here's VAB, VBC, VCA, I know that here, all right, I know that my line to neutral voltage is 30 degrees behind him, okay? And this one would be 30 degrees behind, and this one would be 30 degrees behind as well, okay? <clears throat> so my line to neutral voltage is 30 degrees behind the line to line voltage and lagging by 30 degrees. Okay, so which one is this? Uh, if this is VAB, that would make this VAN. Okay. That will make this um, VCN and make this VBN, like that, okay? All right, okay, so let's, what's that tell us for each of those? Well, VAN is going to be 13.2 divided by square root of 3, all right, with an angle of negative 30 degrees. All right, so what is that? That is, calculate that real quick. 13.2 divided by square root 3. All right, that is 7.62 kV at a negative 30 degrees. Okay, according to this, VCN is apparently at... 13 point, again, the same magnitude, 7.62 degree, 7.62 kV, all right? You have the same magnitude, and he looks like he's 30 degrees behind this guy, so that puts him at, that puts him at negative 150 degrees, all right? If this guy was at, the CA was minus 120, that'll put him at minus 150, 30 degrees behind, all right? VBN, on the other hand, VBN, same magnitude again, 7.62 kV. What's his angle? Well, he's 30 degrees behind this guy, so that puts him at 90 degrees. Okay? All right, so my VAN is that. Okay? Now, let's draw the circuit. Okay? V, the single phase circuit, VAN. So here's point A. Now, what, here's point N. Okay. What load do I connect him to? Well, here I was given delta. So I got to convert to a Y, right? So here is a. ZY, okay, and I am told that ZY is Z delta always divided by 3, okay, all right, previously we were told that our Z delta in this problem 11.19 is 100 minus J75, okay, so that means 100 minus J75 divided by 3, Okay, so that is 100 divided by 3. That's annoying, 33.3. 75 divided by 3. Shouldn't need to have done that. My calculator is 25, okay? All right, now, what do I find? So this case now, this, this current in this circuit is IA capital A, like that. Okay, pretty straightforward to do. 
All right. What is I A capital A? Well, that is just V A N divided by Z Y. All right. Well, what is that? Well, V A N we found was 7.62 with a negative 30 degrees. Okay divided by 33.33 minus J25, okay? So that's 7.62, and it's KV, so let me do times 10 to the third, try to write in the KV in the problem. 7.62 times 10 to the third, all right? E to the minus J, 30 degrees, divided by 33.33 squared plus 25 squared. All right. And I got to bring in the angle of the bottom. Okay. So what's the angle of the bottom? So inverse tan of 25, negative 25 divided by 33.33. All right, so this guy works out to be, the angle at the bottom is negative 36.87 degrees. So when I, sub, when I subtract it, it becomes 36.87 degrees. Again, this guy is negative 36.87, right? But when I'm gonna subtract his angle from the angle at the top, okay? So that's negative negative 36 or positive 36, okay? All right, so what does that become? Well, seven, let's see, yeah, 7.62 times 10 to the third divided by, yeah, divided by square root of 33.33 squared plus 25 squared, all right, so 7620, there you go, that guy, I get 182.89, okay, with an angle of negative 30 plus 36.87, okay, so that's going to become 6 point eight seven degrees okay six point eight seven degrees all right that's i a capital a all right so if i had to find for the other phases okay if i had to find for the other phases what would i do okay well let's look at the phase sequence i can kind of determine that from here okay cn is 120 degrees behind A in this case. B is 240 degrees behind A in this case. So that tells me that I, B, B would be 182.89. And he's going to be behind by negative 240 degrees and I C C is going to be behind by 120 degrees. Okay. All right. So negative 240 plus 6.87 all right, this 182.89, negative 233.13 degrees, 182.89 times e to the negative, let's see, what is this one? Negative 120 plus 6.87, negative 113.13 degrees. Okay, now. Again, I said the C phase was behind by 120, the B phase was behind by 240, because what we were given in the problem 
essentially told us, okay, that C phase was behind A phase by 120, and B phase was behind A phase by 240. So this is a negative sequence arrangement again. Okay? All right. Now, those are the line currents. How do we get to the phase currents? So this was actually, this, this solves here part B of that problem. All right, part B is actually easier to solve first. Part A, let's solve that now. Well, now that I know those line currents, it's pretty easy for me to find the currents in each phase, okay? So I want to know the currents in each phase right here. Well, we kind of went through that a little bit before. Okay? What we said is, if I know these line currents, which we now do, okay, I can relate them to the phase currents. What I say is that the line currents lag the phase currents by 30 degrees, and they are square root 3 longer. Okay, all right, so that tells me that if I want to know I, if I want to know I, A, B, okay, I, A, B, all right, how do I relate I, A, B to the line current? Well, what I know is that this guy, let me do it this way, I know that the line current is square root 3 times the phase current, and he is also negative 30 degrees behind. Okay? So that tells me I take IAA and divide it by square root of 3, and I add 30 degrees, okay, to get. I, A, B. Okay? All right, so I, A, A, what was it? What was it? It was this right here, 182.89 with the 6.87 degrees. So I have apparently 182.89 with a 6 degree. 6.87 degree shift divided by square root of 3 and then I add another 30 degrees to it to get IAB okay so if I do that I get 182.89 divided by square root 3 so I get 105.59 Okay, and then the angle is, I add the two angles, 30 degrees and 6.87, so that becomes 36.87 degrees. Okay, now, what if I, and again, it asks for this, right, find IBC and ICA, okay? Well, I just keep going, all right? Now, in fact, that's pretty easy to do, right? Essentially, what do I know? I know that I... Um, IBC and ICA, how do they relate? Well, they have to be related 120 degrees from the others, right? So essentially, what do I know? I know that um, IBC is 120 degrees behind. Um, so IBC, okay, is simply going to be IAB back by 120 degrees, okay? And ICA would basically be um, IAB shifted back 240 degrees, okay? So I just take this guy, to, to, so IBC would be 36.87 minus 120 degrees. ICA would be 36.87 minus 240 degrees. Pretty straightforward to do. Okay? Now, <clears throat> what it also asks for in this problem in part C all right, is to find what the currents through each of these sources are. So, for instance, it asks for I, 
BA, the current flowing from here to here. ICB, the current flowing from here to here. And IAC, the current flowing from here to here. Okay. Well, <clears throat> how would I do that? Okay. Well, to do that, um, the simplest thing for me to do, all right, once again, probably is to say, okay, I know what these line currents are here, okay, I can relate these line currents to the currents flowing here, here, and here, all right, that's the simplest thing for me to do again, is to relate these line currents to these phase currents here, 